Hey guys, welcome back to So Much To Wear, a channel dedicated to creating and selling recycled fashion. Embellished shoes and sandals are big business right now with fast fashion and even the pricier designer heels. Check out how much that costs. But challenge accepted, we can do this ourselves for under $5 a pop. Let's get started. First up, rose gold loafers. I found a couple of jewel and pearl encrusted shoes online that struck my fancy. So with those in mind, I started deconstructing the necklaces and the earrings in this box, simply cutting off the pearls, off the broken necklace. And I'm no jewelry expert, but I used whatever these tools are, don't really know their name, and separated the cheap prongs from the jewelry to keep the nice parts in one piece and then made a pile of the things I wanted to keep. Now sometimes if a necklace is especially cheap, you can just cut the rings holding it apart if you don't have these special jewelry making tools. It was tempting, but I decided against glue for this project because the point is to get more wear out of both of these things. And I didn't wanna just leave a little trail wherever I went, a little pieces of jewelry. This isn't Hansel and Gretel. I'm not leaving breadcrumbs here or have obvious pieces missing from my shoes. That's not cute. So hand sewing makes it more challenging, but it also makes it worth doing because you can wear these more than once. And that's really the point, right? So here's what I did. First, I decided on my design. Then I used a pin to mark where the loops were on these pieces that I could show them to the top of the shoe. Then I took the longest needle that I owned and a pair of needle nose pliers and made puncture holes with the needle so that getting the needle through this pleather or whatever this is, it's not even real leather, would be easier a little bit later on. Then I grabbed some elastic clear thread. This is the kind that you uh, make necklaces out of. Maybe you had some when you were younger. Well, I made a knot at the end, threaded the needle, brought my first stitch up through the bottom of the shoe, and started essentially sewing these jewels onto place. Now this definitely was hard, I'm not gonna lie. The hardest part of any of these um, little tutorials I'm doing for this video, it's gonna get your fingers raw, but it is doable and I do think it is worth it in the end. So after I got the necklace pieces on, I wanted to hide these loops, so I added a few pearls to fill out the design and make it not look quite as much as if I uh, sewed my broken necklaces onto my shoes. And here we go. Secure, jeweled, metallic loafers. Dress them up, dress them down, wear them all throughout quarantine to feel like you are the belle of your own ball. Okay, moving on to the second pair. These woven sandals from Anthropology caught my eye because I had similar mules in my Poshmark closet that have not sold yet. Now this was the easiest of the three shoes. I just took some of that deconstructed jewelry, placed it randomly, and used some elastic thread to weave in and out of that leather and secure it, attaching all of the beads and stones randomly, making them almost match, more like cousins than sisters, but I thought that that would be a better look than making them both completely random. And here is the end result. Showing was super easy on this one because the needle just fit right through the gaps in the leather, but let's be real, I can't walk in heels. So these are actually gonna go up on my Poshmark closet. They are a size eight and a half. If you are interested, I will have that link below. And finally, we have some pearls to work with, and I love pearls. Check out these Stuart Wiseman pearled loafers I found online. I can't even imagine how much these cost. Hundreds of dollars, but super easy to replicate. Once again, I used the needle nose pliers to take a needle up from the inside of the shoe and threaded about three to four random bead pearls on the elastic jewelry thread, then took that needle back down below and repeated the process about three times. I did this instead of just one long strand of pearls because if I did it like that, then that strand would move around you could see that it would be sewed on, it would look cheap. This is a way to kind of keep those beads tacked into place. Um, I tied it all off by just making several loops around that last pearl bead and knotting it off. Now, I really like these, but sadly they're too small for me, so they're also going to be up in my Poshmark closet. They are a size six and a half. 
Well, I hope this gives you some ideas about what to do with the jewelry that you're not wearing anymore or it's broken. And think about the things maybe you're keeping because they have sentimental value, but you don't wear them as a necklace or earrings anymore. I have my grandmother's jewelry that I saved that's vintage, very cool. I'm not gonna wear it out and about, that's not my style, but I do plan to do something similar to this with my own wedding shoes. So just think you can really do some amazing things with this method and also keep in mind that most costume jewelry, of course, has plastic in it, which will never fully decompose in the landfill. So please consider that before you throw it away. If you buy a necklace and it breaks on you, it doesn't have to be the end of its life. You can find another use out of it. Now, if you're still watching, please let me know which one of these shoes is your favorite. I would love to know what you guys are thinking. And if you liked this video, please help me out and like, subscribe to my channel, tell your friends about it. It will help me get my videos in front of more people and show them that there is so much to wear. Thank you for watching. See you guys soon.